So now let's try and chain else if statements. So, so far we've had if, else if, and else. But what you can do is you can actually add a whole bunch of else if statements. So, uh, you know, else if age is greater than 21, why don't we add another one? Else if age is greater than or equal to 110. Then say, wait, hold on. <laughs> Alert. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you are a safety risk <laughs> or a liability. And so now there's another else if statement. So you can have an infinite amount of else ifs. And this is what we're talking about when we're talking about the gaming, right? You can have a whole bunch of these. Now, there's more efficient ways to go about it, right? But for right now, I want you guys to think about, it's like, man, I could build an entire game just based on this. An if instead of what? An if instead of an if? Oh, yes, 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 yes. So, you, yeah, so let's say that else if age is greater than 110, but if, uh, I don't know, if name equals, yeah, if, 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 you know, Robert De Niro, <laughs> then it's like, okay, well, hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. You are always welcome. So you can put them nested inside. So even if it means like, you know, this. So let's say like if you're using the sword. Now, if this sword has this level of, you know, so you can have like nothing inside here except like another series of if statements. So you say, you know, if sword you know, sword dot attribute or sword, you know, sword has, um, I don't know, attributes equal uh, embedded. And embedded means that it has, like, special gems inside. Then say, like, okay, enemy takes, like, this much damage. Enemy dot damage equals, like, Yeah, so you can, oh man, yeah, so you can do so much stuff like that. So a good point on, on bringing up nested if statements. Because then you can, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, so you can have a whole chain of if statements. So it's like all your computer's doing is checking, okay, if this is true, then do that. If, it's, if this is true, do that, do that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we're good. So it does these things. And it does these things like, like super, super fast, right? Yeah. Yeah, and there's efficient ways of doing this, too. They actually have, like, whole classes on, like, efficiency and stuff, like, especially for gaming. For web development, it doesn't really... I mean, it does matter because you want your web page to uh, load fast, but it won't be as crazy, yeah. I think my friend has some crazy ones that he does because uh, he builds the, the programming for the fighter jets um, in the military, so he does it for, like, the, the F-22 Raptor. Um, so those have to be really fast, right, because it has to track on a target, lock on, missile fires, has to find it immediately. There's like no delay. So his has to be like super efficient. So he does that. Okay. Golf code. I think this is going to be one of the ones you guys need to work on. Yeah, I want you guys to do this one. This one's actually pretty hard. Yeah, but if, if you don't get it, it's not the worst. Like, you know, it's like, what? If you miss one out of 20, that's still an A on the assignment. Selecting from many options with switch statements. Okay. So now we're going to go to uh, another type. I wonder what these are called. If statements. Another type of statement called switch statements. Yeah, it's a statement. So switch statements um, allow you to do the same thing in a different way. So switch statements you can think of as the same as if-else statements. So switch statements... Uh, 
you can actually convert this whole thing into a switch statement. There's just different ways of going about it. Um, I actually prefer using if else statements, but sometimes, um, when you, especially if, when you have too many options to choose from, you use a switch statement. Um, and you can see why. However, it doesn't really use like comparison stuff. So we'll look at like how we use switch statements. This is the anatomy of a switch statement right over here. So switch says, so now we have age, right? So age is the condition and it says case value one, so 18. And we just put, and notice that I can't put like greater than or equal to, it's just, it's equal to 18. Um, I think it allows you to do, let me, let me double check that actually, switch statement greater than, oh, come on. Yeah, they use some weird, weird something. I looked it up before. Mm. Let's see. Yeah, switch tape and still faster. Yeah, so what you can do is you can do like case zero one zero or case one two three four. It's actually really inefficient for ranges. So you have to do 18, case 19, case 20, case 21. Uh, let me see. Switch statements, JavaScript. Why do people call me when I'm working? Does it allow you to do that? No, that doesn't allow you to do that. Switch true. Ah, there is a way, but you have to kind of like hack it. So this is the way to do it. So you say um, true. So you start off with the statement true. That means true is going to be equal to one of these. X is greater than 4 and X is less than 9. X is greater than 8. Blah, blah, blah. So if any of these resolve to true, then that's going to be right. But see, it's like a weird hacky way of doing it. So I don't like that. So this is just generally you want to use for if something is equal to something. So let's just, let's just convert these. So age. Yeah, the conversion just would not be good, actually. Yeah, double check to see if I'm right, because I researched this before, and I couldn't find anything on switch statements being able to resolve this issue. Oh, like another language? Yeah, so switches are not great for a lot of things, but they're good at being able to list out a whole bunch of stuff. So let's say that you had like 30 if-else statements or if-else-if if statements, right? Then it's easy to say, okay, if, you know, if name is equal to Bob, then alert, you know, crap, it's Bob. Then if name is equal to Steven. Oh, cool. It's Steven. Otherwise, say, I don't know who you are. So let's break it down. So now switch statement says that this is the if. So before we're testing if age, right? If condition. So this is the if name 
is equal to this. So in switches, it's switch this is equal to this case, then do the following, and then break. Break means stop this case. Stop stop running. You've, you've run into the case where it's true. If it's Steven, if name is equal to Steven, then do this, then break. Default is the same as else. That means if all of these are false, then say, okay, well, then run this code. So this is the same, again, as if else statements, but it's a little bit more limited. But the, the good part about it is it's more readable if you have like a ton of if else statements that you just want like equal to, to be on. So those are switch statements. Um, Wow, Mr. Juan. Sorry. Game. <laughs> <laughs> That's very nice of you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Juan. Okay. So getting back to it. So we're doing switch statements right now. Do you remember switch statements? Juan? He, Juan remembers. I don't, probably don't know the term, but if I see it. Okay, so switch statements. Um, okay, uh, yes, so we're doing it. I don't remember how it works. Okay. So we're going into that right now. We just finished up if else if statements. Hopefully you remember those. Yeah. Okay. So switch statements work very similar as uh, if else, else if statements, except that switch uh, statements are a little bit more lim limited. So now you have multiple identical options in switch statements. So if the break statement is omitted from a switch statements case, the following state ca statements are executed until a break is encountered. That means if you're saying, okay, case one, case two, case three, these will all fulfill this uh, statement. That means if any of these are true, this will run. Okay, so that's what it's saying. So let's say that we have case Bob, case, so if name is equal to Bob or Maria or Or I don't know. Give me another name that of someone you hate. Nobody. All right, nobody. So Bob, Maria, nobody. Uh, crap! I hate that person. So what happens is because I didn't put um, oh shit, I put the colon in the wrong place. So because I didn't put any break statement, it doesn't stop when it finds this. It says, okay, Bob or Maria or nobody will all have this statement run. Okay. So, if if name is equal to Maria up here, which statement will get printed out? Crap, I hate that person. What if it was Steven? <laughs> yeah, oh cool, Steven. What if it's Boob? 
I don't know who you are because default statement is the else statement. That means if any of these don't fulfill it, then you go to your default statement, which is, I don't know who you are. Okay? A boob is a statement made against uh, people in like the early, like 17th century or something. It's like, you're a boob. I used to have a boob. Way back in the day, insults. Hmm. Okay. So now I want you guys to try and replace your switch statement. Uh, sorry, replace your if else statement with a switch statement. So they did that over here. They said, okay, this is the same thing as this in switch statement form. So using what I have over here as a template, you guys can figure out how to do that. I'll give you guys some time to figure that out. So convert the if else statement that you guys have into a switch statement. And it might be easier actually to look at the uh, free code camp example since they have two of them lined up right next to each other. This one is called replacing if else change with uh, chains with switch. So Juan, because you've done this before, I want you to create uh, a series of if else if statements. So if something is true, else if something is true, else if something is true, else create that, then I want you to convert that if else series into a switch statement series. Why are we going to think of? Oh, yeah. oh, about Torsley. Yeah. <laughs> Share with people, but code pen you can share with people. But it's fine. We're just doing this in class, so it doesn't matter. 